Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Friday, May 16th, 2014. Well, yesterday was really a busy day, um, but it's a good thing it was raining because I didn't have much else to do. So I took, I sat here and uh, took profits, and it was. I think it's going to end up being a pretty good week. As far as news announcements uh, for yesterday are concerned, um, it was pretty mixed with some really good numbers. Jobless claims was pretty good. The Empire State Manufacturing Survey was pretty good and a couple of uh, small disappointments, but not too bad. But you sure couldn't tell that the way that the market moved yesterday. And I think it, well, I don't know what it's based on. I have no idea what it's based on. And it kind of drives me nuts when people say, oh, the market was down yesterday because. No, the market was down yesterday because people were taking profits. The big guys, basically. And when it moves up, it's the big guys uh, putting money back in. <laughs> Why they do it, we really have no idea. But anyway, uh, for today, we have housing starts at 830 and consumer sentiment at 9.55. All right, taking a look across the ponds over in Asia were mixed with um, I guess good news over here um, for uh, Indian stocks. So we're kind of mixed here in Europe, I mean in Asia and in Europe. Um, yeah, mixed there too with uh, the red number is not as big as the green numbers, so I guess that's sort of good news for Europe. Okay, uh, let's jump over and take a look at the futures here in the U.S. Get that down. Okay, we're looking at um, you know, maybe a, a gap down slightly at the open. Gold fell like a ton of bricks yesterday, or a ton of gold, however you want to look at it. Down below uh, our 1300 bogey that we kind of keep an eye on, oil pulled back a tad. I uh, wanted to let you know that silver is down right now, pretty much too. So if you are looking to buy some silver, now might be kind of a good time. We could take a quick look at that chart on silver. And uh, let's move out a little bit. So back here in um, August of last year, it was pretty high. And ever since then, it's just been kind of working its way down. But it doesn't seem to want to go too much below uh, that $18 level. So this is a pretty good time right now if you are thinking of buying some silver. And, you know, my favorite way to do that is what they call the junk silver or the pre-1964 coins like half dollars, uh, quarters, and dimes. That's a um, pretty good thing to keep under your mattress, although it's rather heavy to keep under your mattress. You may want to find a different place for it. All right, uh, you'll be interested to know that the reason why I was busy yesterday is I was closing a lot of positions I closed I opened Priceline and then closed part of it, and that's the only one that I opened yesterday, and I closed Apple, Google, Chipotle, Chevron, Amazon, and part of that Russell trade, at least in one account, I couldn't get it to uh, trigger any other, other account, and um, Priceline that I got in in the morning, I was trying to get out of in the afternoon, and I got out of it down here but not in this account and then NDX I have a good tell cancel order sitting in on that so I still have all these orders in here on these three including uh, the NDX in this account so overall it's been a pretty good week 
we're still uh, looking pretty um, positive here on everything all this negative delta that we have was a good thing um, EOG is um, looking a little problematic possibly we'll take a look at the chart as we go through everything and speaking of since it's Friday let's just get in here I'm not gonna all I want to be doing is closing stuff today I probably will not get into anything unless it is a 20 Delta so let's start out with Apple and we had a did we lose money on this yesterday no I uh, I closed this right at the open remember did I put the order in on the video yesterday or not I'm not sure uh, but I did put a limit order in on Apple at 50 cents and since it was uh, probably a buck and a quarter or a buck 20 trade and I got out at 50 cents that was profitable as well um, just was seeing a little bit of weakness here so we decided to put that order in and it, probably, it triggered on this uh, candle right here the very first half hour of trading as a matter of fact right after the market opened basically so we got out of that one and now we are don't know what we're waiting for we might be waiting for a 20 delta here so let's slide this over and see what we can do with that and change it over to a 20 alrighty okay moving right along Amazon is up next uh, we got out of Amazon yesterday is that right I believe so no we weren't in it we did not uh, we must have got out of it. Wait a minute here. Yeah, we got out of that one yesterday. Let's go over here. And see if I uh, pull this down here. Uh, there was a lot going on yesterday around noon time. And some around 2 o'clock. I got a part of this price line I got out of. So, um, that's that. So Amazon I got out of. So we can clear these stuff off of here. And we're good to go, waiting for our next opportunity. Since we're in a downtrend, next opportunity will be up here. I'm a stochastic Boeing Boeing suffered a huge hit yesterday we're looking for a 20 Delta it's not ripe at this time Baidu looking for a 20 Delta not there quite yet Celgene Looking for a 20 delta, we could have jumped on this yesterday, um, but we're going to alert this today. This is a 20 delta alert. Just um, want to remind you of that. So don't let this alert fool you as being a 50 delta. And remember, that's all I'd trade today anyway, is 50 deltas. Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle, we got out of that nicely, profitably. And we are going to delete all drawings. Start over with it. We'll be looking for a move up here on the stochastic. And in a nice downtrend, Costco. We're still in Costco. And I don't have them. Oh, yes, I do. I do have them marked. This is a 20 Delta due the last Friday in May. And we're here with our 
short strike at 118 looking pretty good there for cost call nothing new coming up on that at this time CVX uh, we got out of it that's this one may have been a small loss I think so this trade did not work out um, it's a big move for Chevron but not it's kind of rare but not all that rare for them to move that way. This was a big move here too for them. So this is a pretty good 20 delta type trade here and we could do this on the other side too. So I am going to put an alert on this as a 20 delta trade. So what I'll do is I'll take this, I think it was oval 2, I'm not sure, yeah it was this oval 2, move this one up here, we'll make this a 20 delta, sort of almost like an iron condor, if I was still in the uh, bull put side, but I'm not, so we'll take this, delete that, and delete that. Okay, so now we're looking for this as a 20 delta trade for today. Take a look at the Dow. Ah, yes, after its high, two heavy pullback days on it, and we may be in for another one here. Um, this is, I'm not trading this, just to draw your eye to it. Uh, Igor, we're in, oops. We're in a difficult situation with them. Um, this may end up being a loser today. We'll have to see how they come in this morning, but I'm going to have to exit it today. I'm not going to let this expire in the money. So this will be a bit of a drag on profits. FedEx. We have nothing at the moment. We're looking for a 50 delta trade on this right now. So we're waiting for it to come down into our target area. It's not even ready for a setup at this time. F5 Networks. Uh, this has an expiration of today. We would like to see F5 push down and have this one be totally profitable. That would be a good thing. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Gold. Looking to do, I was looking to do a covered call on this and it's not going to cooperate. So we have a, um, a 20 delta on this too, but I'm not, I'm not just going to take a pass on this at this time. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm going to put an alert on it. Let's, uh, we have to trade what we see. So there's an alert on GLD. Okay, Google. Ah, yeah, Google. This was a good trade. We are going to delete all drawings and start over. Okay, now we're waiting for it to come up into our target area again. LinkedIn. We're still in LinkedIn. This is an expiration of today. I have to keep an eye on this one, too. A little concerned about this um, green hook up here. We'll just have to see how it works out. 3M. Uh, we are down here looking for a setup on a 50 Delta. But being the cautious, uh, not wanting to hold on weekends kind of a person that I am, at least on those 50 deltas, I'm probably going to let this one ride until it gives me an alertable status. NDX, we're in on NDX. Um, right. 
of a possibility of $440 profit here and a $1,500 loss, but this is expires next Friday. Okay, and then Netflix. Um, I tried to get in on this yesterday. I'm not even sure if I did or not. But this is alertable for a 50 delta, but I'm not going to put an alert on it. Um, I'm just, I'm going to just totally pass on Netflix. I'm not even going to write it down for today. And then Priceline, I was able to get out of half of Priceline yesterday. Looking at the chart, this nice dip here, and then it pulled back in the afternoon. So I think it was around here, around lunchtime that I was doing these trades. And um, I got half of it to execute, and the other half just did not. So I didn't get filled on that. So it's still hanging out there. Uh, Russell, <clears throat> and again, same story, got filled on half of it, not the other half, so we have uh, two sitting out here. Uh, we'll let the theta work for us here, $8.79 for today, provided it stays exactly where it's at right now. SPX. What are we looking at here? We're looking at a possible 20 delta trade here, but we have a trend reversal. Not exactly sure how this is going to work out, but it is a setup for a 20 delta. But not if price keeps moving down. So we'll take a look at that one later today. TLT. We're in on a lot of stuff on TLT. Um, this one's going to expire today. Fully profitable. It looks like. I can't imagine anything moving down that far on TLT. Tesla. Nothing live at the moment. We have a setup for a 50 Delta. Uh, we did not prove out here. So we're going to wait until it puts us in an alertable status next week if it does at all. UMP, we sold that short or bought that short back, effectively closing this trade. And then last but not least is Visa. Uh, Visa, uh, we took a pass on, totally missed this one. Uh, we had some confusing signals in here, but yesterday definitely uh, put some convincing evidence up here. So now we wait for the next opportunity on Visa. So we'll move this over here. And that is it for today. It's Friday. You get out early a little bit. And uh, we'll post our results on the video for this week on Monday. Thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend and happy trading.